can hear the message loud and clear I'm gonna make it I can see my shot is here so now I'm gonna take it gotta get up get out hi my name is Maddie and I've been coming here since I was in elementary school and I am now the elementary kids assistant director I always knew I had the best family and I knew I had an awesome church to call home but watching them work together to help me start, grow, and strengthen my faith made an even greater impact on my life than it would have without that partnership. It's a support system that just can't be matched. Oh, hi, MV kids. Oh my gosh, God made all of us so creative so that we can love him and love him. My mom and I were best friends from the time I was like a kid and she helped me with a lot. Um, I was a really shy kid, and I really looked up to her. And one of the main things that she was doing at the time was kids ministry. It was different, it was very small. Um, our worship was like a microphone and a little ghetto blaster, and we would sing. And um, we made a lot of times our own curriculum, like we would decide what we were gonna teach, how we were gonna teach it. She was always really fun and funny and energetic all the time. So getting to like plan Bible stories with her and learning how to like communicate the gospel and um, dance in our living room um, like crazy. She kind of always liked to work alongside me, like help with the scripture and what we were doing and learn alongside me. And so she kind of just evolved into a serving role in kids. As we continued to grow as Mountain View, um, they realized we were gonna need a kids director. So they hired Jen Jones. Little did I know she was gonna make such a big impact on me. And I always knew that I loved kids ministry. I knew that I loved teaching kids about Jesus with my mom. But she started this dream that this could actually be something I do for the rest of my life. She listens to you when you're having struggles. Um, she cares. Some people don't do that and it's really annoying. <laughs> but, um, she's kind of like a big sister. She's just wanting to listen and give you advice. You can always talk to her about anything. You never have to be afraid to talk to her. She is one of the best people in my life right now. Oh, oh, Maddie is like, She's like like a big sister to me. Like she's just so kind and generous. Like Maddie says, she says that these kids, they may be little, but they're going through big problems. So I'm not trying to be just a leader, but a friend. Like, ever since I was a little girl, she's always just helped me grow in the word. And like, not only with like friends and relationships and just always being there for me in general, she's also helped me grow so much closer to God, closer than I ever could have imagined. She mentors them with her whole heart. And I've seen her turn kids around, even at this young of an age and in the short of a time, I've seen it. I think my favorite part about my job so far though is definitely leading um, the worship team. It's just continued to grow and more kids have continued to come, but we still have that solid group of five or six kids, um, five or six girls that have just been on the team forever. And it has not only challenged me, but it's also challenged like my faith and my relationship with God. Um, this time when I was really starting to lead them and learning how to be a mentor for them, just like a Jen was a mentor for me. Um, I was still in high school. So I was dealing with, you know, the pressures of like peer pressure and like how to, how to, what to post and, and what to say and how to act and how to be a Christian in high school. And, you know, I think that leading this worship team, having this responsibility was a huge part of my walk with God because it was a reminder that like, how I act and what I do, like I'm an example for them. Um, and when I go and stand in front of them, I want to be authentic, I want my faith to be real, and I want to be able to really be a big part of their story. I've just loved getting to, to lead them, and it's been a long time. A lot of these girls have been on the team half a decade, five years, it's a lot of time for them to invest too. So we've got to do like real life together. Um, they've seen me through relationships and breakups, and I've we've got to have real conversations, and I do feel like I'm more than just a mentor, you know? They've seen me go through different phases of life. I've seen them go through different phases of life. And I've got to um, really just pour into them 
throughout years of time um, and we've gotten to have a really close connection. So watching them, you know, grow in their relationship with God and grow in their leadership. Now we have some of these girls that are like, they're, they're, they're coming up with choreography. They're teaching the dances. They're going to their school and they're making a difference there. Um, they're on stage, you know, on a microphone, praying over the kids. I've got to watch them develop their own personal resilient faith. And it's been such a blessing for me. It's it's like so heartwarming. Like it just, it like makes me emotional thinking about how, how much time I've got to pour into these girls and watching them grow as, as girls grow in their faith, grow as friends. It's been a really, really awesome time to watch them kind of grow into who God's called them to be too.